Okay, got it. Okay, we are live. All right. Yes. Uh, good, good morning, everybody. What a beautiful day, month, April. And today is like 4, 4, 4, 22. And this is our global tea talk series. When we are saying we are bringing a guest, me and Ruth is a partner. And you will always listen, ask like our stories, all the different platform and different stories and different times. I'm gonna tell you why we choose this like um, first thing, global tea talk. We wanna be touch each other's heart, how you sit with a cup of tea and go to the world on Zoom even. Tea talk is a chance when you slow down yourself and pull back and appreciate our life surroundings. I met Debbie, I met Ruth. That's the way you meeting every day, one new person in your life. If like you are open heart, I think world is like a big place to like see. Come, let us have a, some tea and continue our journey and talk about with our guests. Like first I gonna say good morning Ruth and Mike is yours. Like, welcome Debbie. Thank you, Linda. <laughs> that is awesome. Um, yeah, like you said, this is how we meet each other and whom are you meeting and how are you appreciating them? We are very grateful to have our beautiful Debbie here today. So without wasting time, I will give Debbie the opportunity to introduce herself to us. Thank you. And Debbie, you are welcome. The mic is yours. Well, good morning, everybody, and it's really nice to be here, and uh, it's nice to meet you, Ruth, and good to see you, Killwonder. Um, I'm Debbie Castro. I'm from Weed, California in the USA, and um, um, I'm um, a mother and a grandmother, and uh, I own a beauty salon in Mount Shasta, California, uh, which I've been working at. Um, since 1995, um, I worked 10 years before getting my own salon. And um, I also have a few um, businesses where I'm a brand advocate. Mm. And sometimes I house it for my good friends. <laughs> <laughs> and I just love life. Yeah. That's very important. Like, uh, you know, like when we have like a friends all around, advocating this is like a life journey like uh, we have to be admire and we have to be appreciate when we meet people and know more about this uh ruth like i didn't mention and tell you anything before me and debbie met on a facebook that's like a sometime i say social media is like a, your other home that's depend on you who you are meeting where are you learning when i see like a uh, debbie have her own business and she's like a uh, in business like more than 30 years in like a uh, outside beauty i can say but like it's a time sometime it's like a changes and your life journey or your health make you to find your inner beauty when I met on with her, like at that kind of things, and I see her picture, it's like really, really ignite me more. Like, what, what are you doing? And Debbie, um, the, my second question I'm going to ask you, how do you go in like a makeup side? What brings you on that, like a, take a, that course and open your own salon? You said 30 years, more than 30, you are in your own. But what brings you on that platform? Um, you know, um, I had children early and, um, I don't know, I just, um, had a couple of friends that were hairdressers and, and I just liked it and I was good at it. So I decided to go to beauty college in 1984 and, um, I, uh, um, I had to drive 142 miles each day round trip to go there. And my sister came and stayed with me and watched my children and the rest is history. I've enjoyed every minute. It so, sorry. Um, so um, talking about your friends and what they were doing attracted you to 
discover your passion or would you say this was your passion or are you passionate about what you are doing i'm passionate about everything i love adventure i love helping people i love um just doing doing things having a good time learning new things that really um inspires me and other people so um, talking about that, what would you say or advise us, those of us on social media and in our community, what would you say about friendship and knowing your value? Because what you were saying, it's like you just didn't, according to Kulwinda also, and with what, I, if I align what you, Kulwinda was saying and what you just said about friendship, Kulwinda said, um, she met you on social media. So there are a lot of people out there today, they are so confused with social media. Um, they don't want to entertain more friends on social media. Um, and to me, I think that some of these things, it's simply because people don't know how to define their values and all that because they just grab, accept everyone that comes to their circle into their social media platform. And in the end, um, things doesn't go well. And then they hate social media. I mean, social media, just like life or everything else, there is good and there is bad. So um, would you say, what if I want, to, my question is, what would you say to people who are choosing friends or making friends with others in their community, in their workplaces and all that. What is one advice that you can give people in terms of making friends or, or bringing people into their circles? Well, um, social media to me, there's been more good than bad. And I just love everybody. I, I, I wanna hear people's stories. I wanna know what they're about, I mean, uh, it's just like at the beauty salon, I have customers that I've had for the whole time I've been a hairdresser, the whole time, and, and I love these relationships, and, uh, you know, you, you gotta weed through everybody to find the ones that you really like, and um, to me, um, people are either a lesson or a blessing, and, and you just gotta find them. Yeah. And that's kind of part of the journey. It's an adventure, like I said. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Um, Kulwinda, just- Yeah, I, I'm gonna first. just add one thing, Ruth, sorry. <laughs> you know, like, uh, when she said like, my friends admire me because they have a hair salon. You know, like my thoughts and uh, my culture, or I'm thinking it's a human culture. We are very adapted. Company is really matter. When we are seeing like anything, if you have a good people in your life and your journey, I think that company admired you, excite you, and give you an option to make a different decisions and do good in your life. And the second part, Ruth, like when you touched your question about like the social media, uh, how Debbie is uh, mentioning, it's an adventure. Life is your like a life is like a kind of a roller coaster. It's ups and downs, but mostly people are on social media they are looking just at attraction they are not aligned your values core values whereas is a you are like a value stand you want to give something or you want to take from other person people they don't give you a space and then like we are always talking about bad things i met her like almost like two months like uh, closely when I'm seeing Debbie every single day, her energy. She's like six o'clock in a California time now. Think about if like you wanna do something, you are love, like uh, she wanna hang around with us, like with a cup of tea and with the invitation and giving her wisdom with the other junkster, we are saying like, uh, we are all three ladies, mostly ladies. We are like thinking, I can't do this, stop thinking this way come be a positive think about if like a uh, ruth is in the iceland time and i'm in uh, my time from uh, canada toronto time and uh, debbie is from california and i'm seeing this like a cup of tea is our guest with like uh, debbie she joined now I'm gonna say like Susan jump in. We're gonna be like not to like us say Susan. We are doing this like a global tea talk. 
talk we will like give you a chance to speak just like introduce like you you join us like now oh introduce myself right now yeah where are yes. you joining from welcome susan oh, fantastic okay i'm susan joy horn and i am calling in from salt lake city utah in the united states and truthfully, I haven't been on a call in a couple months and I'm excited to be back. Mm -hmm. And um, it's 7.15 in the morning for me. I haven't even stepped outside to walk my dog yet, but and I even got dressed up. So anyway, I'm excited to be here and I'm feeling great. I'm just on day three and a half of a, re of a, little, of a little cleanse to uh get my mind body and spirit back in alignment and it's um i have the tools to do it and it's amazing so here i am thank you thank you susan for just joining us um debbie uh, my next question to you when you are coming from your beautician outside hair cutting and stuff like what touch you to go and rethink and realign with your inner beauty what what brings you on that platform um hmm. well um i don't know it's just in me that's all i can say it just it ignites me uh, um i'm just happy and it's there <laughs> it's core values and i live them every day yeah ah, that is beautiful and my question to um debbie but before then i want to say susan we are so excited to have you <laughs> So thank you for showing up and, and for coming in. Um, oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. See you so, all. <laughs> Debbie, I would like to know, um, like we were saying, there are so many ups and downs with life. So mm -hmm. what are some of the obstacles when you started your business? What are some of the obstacles that you faced and how did you overcome them? Well, um, you know, there's there's a lot of things to there's a lot of things to think about in, in running a business. You know, there's there's the business side where it's all the paperwork and the people you have to get to do this or that to get ready. And then there's opening. Um, I, I don't know. There's I don't know. It's got a lot of ups and downs, but it's mostly up. You know, you just got to have in mind that hey this is what I want to do and I'm going to get there no matter how you have to it may take you a while sometimes um this last time I had to move my salon about 10 years ago it took about six weeks to put the flooring in and me and my friend were there for hours putting this flooring wow. in ourselves <laughs> but we did it you know and it's, it was an adventure like I said but we did it you know, you just have to really be passionate about it and really want it and just stick to it. You have to tell yourself, hey, I'm going to do this and do it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's, That's like, as you know, like it's her adventure. I'm thinking it's a dedication. Bring you on that top in every time. And mm -hmm. uh, then even like uh, I met her and I see her inner outer you know like it's all heart it's pure heart like day by day when you are taking our adventure this is a, we are in a life journey but like a day by day when you explore more sometimes we couldn't find a words how we can tell other person what we are doing and how we ignite with each other right mm -hmm. and uh, if like we are saying it's a global tea talk um you guys know every second monday me and ruth our business partner we are doing a global tea talk on zoom you guys can find us on a live on Facebook and you can find us on a YouTube channel. We are recording, putting on a YouTube channels too. Anybody watching now or you're going to watch later, if you want to become a guest for our global tea talk, just like in myself and Ruth, we find we met on a social media and we decide we're going to touch other people's life. This is our service. We are giving a free service to you. Just make your mind clear. And uh, if you need even like finding your way as a clarity, Ruth is like a health coach for a clarity coach from Iceland, but we are doing virtual meetings and stuff, Zoom meetings too. If you are looking something, you are not decide what are your next step. 
And the second thing, like Debbie is our guest today and you guys heard from her, we are an advocate. We are an advocate in our life and we are taking our adventure to the other people who they never get a chance to meet others and to explore themselves even like, uh, you know, like life is an adventure. We need to like every single day be thankful. And why I choose a global tea talk and with the Ruth, why we wanna like go with the, just with the tea, what is that tea do to you? Myself and my cultural background. And when I met Align with the Ruth now with like, say we are four ladies are here. This is just like a purpose of your life to exploring with others. You get a break. This is an adventure. Susan, we can put you on spot. Now you are also our guest too. Um, oh. Good. I want to put this on my Facebook somehow. How do I do this? Um, the, I will tell you can share the link. I put it on a rethink uh, is like going live now. You can share from there. Um, if I ask you, why did you start rethinking and resetting yourself? Well, it's a long answer. <laughs> um, I was in the pilot program. I was in the first program online in September and uh, last June, I actually had broken my back in a car accident and I had people bringing me delicious meals for a couple months. But even before that, I knew um, that I deserved to release some weight and um, that it would be the best thing for my back. And uh, the only exercise I had that I was allowed to do is walk and I have a dog and I had a knee old knee injury bugging me as well. And like within like five days of being on this program, I'm like, Oh, my back feels good. I feel like I can, you know, take my brace off and ditch it. Although I didn't. And then like within 10 days I was speed walking. My dog is like, wait, I don't have time to smell the flowers. What's going on? And I couldn't slow myself down. So um, it's very, uh, it's very awesome. I would say, um, I released about 20, I don't have the numbers right in front of me. I released about 20 pounds in the program initially, and like almost the same amount of inches and through maintenance and then doing a little reset up till, um, January, the middle of January, I'd probably released about 31 pounds. I got off the bandwagon a little bit, I admit. And um, actually when I got okay to get back to my activities, I've been skiing and hiking like crazy the last couple of months and my body's been craving more food. And so I've just haven't been as into it, but I've just this weekend, I'm on in the middle of a three and a half day cleanse. And I'm almost, I'm a one pound, 1 1.8 pounds away from where I was in January in three and a half days. I think that's crazy. And this program is amazing. I have like, I, this is, this is it. I don't need to look anywhere else for the rest of my life. I have the tools. I have the information. There's more information. There's a lot to learn, but I have access to the amazing Dr. Ronnie and all of you guys. And, um, and there you go. Like I said, it was not a short answer. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Um, thank you very much, uh, Sujan, for this all information. You guys, like, uh, we are not here to sell. We are here to touch each other and we have access where we can meet our educated doctors and friends and coaches and business owners. If you are finding your way, your need, <laughs> easy to find us on anywhere on the social media. I don't know how many people are going to be listen and watch, but like our heart is saying what we get from our journey or our adventure or roller coastering life. You guys say, if we do it, you guys can do it too. But I don't know how ahead of the game you guys are, but our purpose to touching each other's life. Um, uh, Ruth, you're going to ask any question to Susan or Debbie? Yeah, um, so I would like to ask um, Debbie, as a cosmetology, what are some of the disturbing things that we observed now or in 
our lives as women that you can advise us on? Um, I'm sorry, I didn't understand what you were asking me. So, I mean, people are confused doing all kinds of things when it comes to their going to the saloon, taking care of their outer world and all that, their bodies and all that, their hair. And so, is there anything that you've been doing in your work that works that you think it is natural, it is normal that? people should go for because I mean today there are a lot of people out there that are looking for the natural ways to do things there is I, for me I say that there is a shift and that people want to go back to the ancient way of doing things so um are you is there something do you practice something like that and is there any advice you want to give to people who are pressing to find such path um, like I said, it's, it's a journey and you just need to get on it and hang in there with it. And, you know, um, you just need to hang in there and, and just keep going and what you like and what you don't like and what works and what doesn't work. Um, I too have, uh, done the reset program with the, with the other ladies. That's how I met them and I love them. And, um, I lost over 55 pounds myself. And um, I also have an autoimmune disease. And um, this pr the program's been the best thing that's ever happened to me. So now I'm beautiful inside and outside and I feel really good about it. And it's, it's just been the best thing that's ever happened to me. So my, my thing would be just to hang in there and you know live your life, do what you gotta do make yourself happy amazing thank you so much that's beautiful um so susan are you said a little <laughs> no, i'm gonna i'm gonna just like uh clear up with uh, debbie debbie maybe didn't catch like a uh, fully uh, your question her question is like uh mostly today's world because of uh, social media we're gonna say again we see mm -hmm things and make up this that like we want to be do everything when we are going in slow and sometimes we get like confused what we choose what is your highest like a suggestion you can give your body best gift where you in and out you look a beautiful and what what kind of natural things you can give a like two tip uh like i said i'm still not positive on what you're asking um are you asking me how how you can feel better or i mean um yes. in in the cosmetology world um everything that you see on facebook is and in, on the internet is not all real or safe being a professional um you just want to be careful with what you're doing and don't believe everything you see you know but um, it's, it's nice that you can see what's going on. I mean, I learned how to put on false eyelashes by watching a YouTube. So it's not all bad, but you, you got to be careful. You know, you got to be wary with what's going on. But, it, you know, when you feel good inside, you feel good outside too, you know. And then when you look good outside, you got the whole package. <laughs> hmm. Okay, go ahead, Ruth. Yeah, thank you. Um, so I was just going to ask uh, Susan, uh, it was very beautiful what you shared. And the, if there is something I got from that was uh, never give up, um, keep pushing, keep the momentum. And I think that works for Debbie also. And I think that um, for those who are listening to us, if you are doing something and it's not getting easy, don't give up, just keep going. So um, if there is anything, Susan, um, as in the form of an advice for a fellow woman that is trying to find herself or that is struggling with so many obstacles in life, being health, um, career-wise, whatever, what is that one thing that you want to share? You know, I'm a Sagittarius. There's never just one thing to share. <laughs> okay so i participate um 
and personal empowerment programs. And I'm, I always feel good learning and striving to be my best um, in all different ways. For example, right now I'm in a phase where I am releasing things that don't serve me. Um, and I will leave the details, <laughs> you know, there. And, um, and the last month I've been meditating every morning. I have this routine. Uh, I, I have to do that. I love it. It sets my day right. Um, of course, feeding yourself good nutrients. And that's not always easy to do. But once for myself, once I am committed, then it's easy. But getting into the commitment and the mindset sometimes is a little struggle. But once I'm there, then I've got it like these last few days. <laughs> um, what else? Um, oh, get out in nature. I live in Utah where there's a lot of outdoor activities and I do work for myself as well. I'm also a pediatric occupational therapist with my own practice. And I've just been finding lately, if I get out, go skiing or hiking, and I do something for part of the day, and then I come back, I'm much better than having a day where I, I'm going to be responsible the entire day and try to, because then I just don't feel good. <laughs> so it's a good, I'd say get a balance um, you know, find an organization to work on yourself, to grow, to be the best person that you can be a good support group, uh, what you feed yourself, how you, you know, how you dress, you could dress casual, but you know, how you present yourself, wash your face, you know, put on some makeup, put on some earrings, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I got dressed for this morning. I had no idea I was coming into a Facebook live stream. <laughs> you are beautiful without your preparation or whatever. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Thank you know, you. like, um, Susan, how you mentioned, because like uh, mostly Ruth, I didn't even mention before, um, uh, Debbie, we, we do a, like a one guest with like this Zoom calls for tea talk. But like I send her a Zoom code before because mostly nine to 10, I'm working Zoom live call with like other friends with the other advocating program. That's the way Susan jump in. When she jump in, like, I don't want to be like, uh, not let her in. Then I said, okay, let's like come. We are, like, <laughs> you guys, you will see how open heart people we are here. You will met like a Debbie is in her business, Ruth in her business and Susan, today I know even like a, she's a pedri pediatric therapist. Think about like how far you are from each other, just a phone call or message. We are here to support our young generations or people like in our age. We are not even old too. Don't think like we are old. <laughs> <laughs> We are here to entertain you. You see, Sujan say, I'm wearing earring. I'm doing this. I'm doing this <laughs> life adventure. You will I see it. showed up in my pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> you can show sure up in anything you want. <laughs> <laughs> because we are not hesitant people. We want to explore this world because God believe us. God send us here. He give this wisdom. We want to ignite every single day this adventure. Ups and downs are always here and there. Don't think we are perfect. We don't look anything perfection. <laughs> and to do things what we love and do it. You all heard Susan's story with the brace and after a couple of days, because she make a choice. The first thing I always ask people, don't always wait for why. Find us like in your inner city. Why not? That's the way we adventuring our countries. We left our countries back. Maybe Susan and, and Debbie born in States, but we came from other countries. You will see us. And uh, this is a best platform where you can see knowledgeable things. You meet a doctors. How you can meet through somebody. How you know the other person's personality through somebody. That's why take social media very seriously. 
align with people don't like just always foolish around things on like sending hi and asking how are you random messages we are the powerful women without women you can't do anything believe yourself and always align with the right people and always give somebody god send you here for god didn't send us like here for to put the finger on other person and watching and waiting this is a global tea talk we are just like exploring a life any men women anybody any girls daughters sons they want to come with us on our journey you can just message us we will bring you as a guest share your experience that's why we are here and you can find us on our social media um even like debbie and susan are here now we are learning about their profession my last question to both of you one by one we gonna get an answer from you when last time you have a cup of tea and you find i'm relaxing last time i had a cup of tea mm -hmm. last night <laughs> yesterday um yeah there's been a lot okay. of relaxing <laughs> when when you feel relaxed mostly what you like bring in your adventure what you thought like bring and back in sit like i'm relaxed now what is your powerful like a uh, one tip you can give to public when i have a cup of tea i'm feeling relaxed from which side um i'm not quite understanding the question but i will share a tip from occupational therapy uh, point of view uh, say for example you have a cup of tea you are relaxed from your mind you are thinking everything is gone i'm in back in me as a susan fully recover um ah uh, for me i wouldn't say it has to do with a cup of tea um so as i was going to share an occupational therapy tip mm -hmm. so any kind of heavy work like resistance like um working in the garden or hiking or weightlifting um any kind of resistance against your body push-ups pushing a wall has a calming and organizing effect on the the nervous system that's called your proprioceptive sense and so if you're feeling stressed um you know get a good workout in or do some push-ups or um even do some yard work or some housework where you're using your muscles and it and um that's a good thing and also as i was saying meditation my morning routine of meditation it's really powerful for me yeah okay that's that's your relaxation that's what that's your relaxing part myself i'm thinking that's the workout part Oh, what is it? you're asking what's relaxing for me? Yeah. Um <laughs> a lot of different things. You guys can notice being now nature, she just woke up. She said being like in she nature, just woke up. being in nature. I didn't wake up because I've already done an hour of meditation and all that stuff. But um playing my fiddle sometimes some of the songs can really put me in a relaxing phase the violin the fiddle um walking my dog my morning walk with my dog i listen to some things um um like abraham hicks if you guys know who she is you can google abraham hicks and whatever topic you want some insight into her. go for it I, I love her too yeah so i mean there's there i do i don't have one particular thing I'm a Sagittarius. <laughs> it depends on my mood and and what my spirit is calling for um, at the moment. I do a lot of I am into mindfulness types of things, and I, I am when I am listening, you know, my, my 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 soul will tell me how to feed it. Mm -hmm. I have to remember to listen. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, so I will ask this question, but it's for both of you. Uh, my question is, would you say um, you find your purpose in life? 
with all that you are doing? Debbie? Yes, and I, I still have more purpose to have in my life. There's still more, there's still more, um, I have a strong purpose where I want to make a difference in a big way using all of my interests and desires from occupational therapy to fiddle to occupational, um, I said occupational therapy to mindfulness um, to what I'm learning with nutrition, I, I want to find a way to incorporate all of that and make a difference in a huge way, especially in the lives of children. Children have been my passion and um, mm -hmm. that's what I work with in occupational therapy, but I like to make a difference with all people as well. I, I feel good doing that and um, I have lots of tools and it's about empowering people and people uh, get to be it has to happen in their own time. Yeah. Uh, so it, learning, learning how to empower people and learning that they do things in their own time and we have to embrace and being compassionate and be grateful to everybody. I've learned a lot of gratitude since my back injury as well. I have so much to be grateful for. Uh, I, I had a big, break. I didn't have surgery, but, uh, I followed what they said and they, I knew it was temporary and I just changed, you know, as you can hear me say, I'm very active. I wasn't able to be active. So I just changed how I engaged in the world and still kept my mind active and my soul active and, um, really stayed positive. I would say 99% of the time. And, uh, and it's all about, it's all about that and coming from gratitude, coming from love. And of course being shown how amazing people have, can be givers and people came and showed up for me in huge, huge ways. Um, so, and I get to, so I've really learned a lesson in gratitude bigger than I ever have. And so, yeah, we have a lot in common. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I, I'm just meeting you. So we get to friend each other on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So um, we, the mic is yours, um, Debbie. <laughs> You'll have to ask me the question again. <laughs> so the question was, would you say you found your purpose in life with what you are doing? Or are you yet to find your purpose? You know, sometimes I think I find it and then I find that I, there's more to know, more to learn, more to do. So I try, like I said, to have adventures and live my core values and be creative. And uh, my thing is to uplift people, make them feel good, you know, and, and give them hope. And, and hopefully they get some energy and and um you know just inspire people to do better and that's what i'm trying to do myself be better one percent every day you inspire me daddy <laughs> wow <laughs> so you're already doing that debbie you already inspired susan so <laughs> yeah do yeah. inspire us like six o'clock you show up that's like <laughs> Yes, you inspired all of us already. So you are doing that already. But, <laughs> I mean, um, talking about finding your purpose, I think we should not, um, to me, that is my experience so far and talking to people. I think it is always, um, it's not okay for me if I would say, or if it's the right word to use, that um, you limit yourself when it comes to finding your purpose. Because, I mean, you can define your purpose, redefine your purpose anytime. Um, depending on what is happening around you, where you are, your purpose, for me, I believe that it can shift. But there is a purpose that is your main reason for being here. There is a one purpose that you came to this world for. 
but with that purpose, that mother purpose can give birth to um, the subsequent purposes, the purpose in your life. It can you can have sub purposes, some small small ones beside your main, the mother purpose. That is how I, I see it. That's because with my own experience, knowing who I am and what I'm here to do. But there are some other things that I'm passionate about. And I feel that it is just the right thing to do to another human being. It might not be the main reason why, but um, when I started learning and researching on clarity of, of this course uh, that I offer, clarity of purpose, and when I started interviewing people about it and asking questions, um, expect to tell me stuff, I found out that from one of my masters that we came here to this world with a promise to come and do something. All of us, we came with a promise to come and do something. But due to the conditioning from our environment and our family schools and all that from the society, we tend to deviate from that purpose and start doing all kinds of things. Some get lucky to complete that purpose, some don't. So there are so many ways for you to um, get to that point. And so it's okay, whatever journey you are on to reach that goal, it's fine. Wherever you find yourself is not an accident. And I'm saying this from my own personal experience that Things happen to you and you're like, gosh, what did I do? Why did this happen? But if really you sit and reflect, you find that you find out that it did, it wasn't a mistake. It was all good. That happened for a purpose. It happens for a reason. It's part of the growth and it's part of the beauty of life. So anything that happens to us comes with a purpose. I I something happened. Debbie was talking about her knee injury. I had an um knee injury, and so many things happened that I was so grateful for. Even that day, there were some things that I was supposed to buy at the hospital. Someone just showed up and said, I have it in my car, take it for free. <laughs> you know, so when you when you talk about gratitude, I was like, Oh, okay, it was one of my first courses that I taught. So I, I was teaching gratitude and I am always there when it comes to gratitude. I love the nature. I love nature so much. I can walk and sit by the river, walking in the woods and looking at the shapes of the trees, the flowers and all that, the beauty. And, you know, it's, I feel like I'm not part of this world when I'm there in the nature, when I'm by the river or by the sea, I'm like, wow. So, I mean, there are so many things for us to be grateful for. And so thank you all for sharing such a beautiful insight on my question. It is all beautiful and I'm very grateful. Thank you. So, Kulinda. Uh, yeah, thank you very much, ladies, uh, Debbie and Sujan, um, coming and stop by for a cup of tea. And whenever you are drinking your tea, whether at work, <laughs> <laughs> or you are drinking juice i have a water in my red drink that drink <laughs> and uh, <I> <laughs> or you have a like a tea with us on a zoom it is your own home maybe you are sitting it is a wonderful to allow enough time to appreciate it be thankful to god this is like a gratitude like we need to like find us and we need to like uh, find our surroundings with the positive way we are here for a journey. The life is a roller coaster. Like so many years back, like one time my twin daughter, she write like one story where she mentioned life is a roller coaster. Sometime during like your own journey and explorations or advocating this life, life is a beautiful, but sometimes be stuck. 
where we need a clarity, how we can clear just like we can need to talk to each other. If you guys want to be a guest on our Global Tea Talk, every second Monday, we are doing this Global Tea Talk and uh, you can message us. We will book you for this Zoom call and we wanna we know what are you doing and where are you? And all of a sudden, nothing gonna happen. We have to put our attention there. Everything is not working always with the accidentally, it's working with the attentionally. We need to take our wisdom and how Debbie already our guest today, she said it's an adventure, we are exploring our adventure. Think about it's like a, everything happened by purpose. Susan came in, <laughs> she's like two wonderful ladies. Now today's our guest and we will be book one day for Susan too. And we will learn how occupational as a therapist, you fix others, but sometimes we didn't see ourselves that deeper levels. But when we get like that kind of like an incident happens, you broke your back, then you woke up, right? For like to change. All of us, we are in a journey. Sometimes we are stuck with our health issues, family issues, life is ups and downs. But when we talk to each other, everything is possible to do. Nothing is like... Um, you can say it didn't work. Everything is work, but like we need to see the way we need to see these things. For today's tea talk, I'm gonna be say thank you all our guests, Debbie and Susan and Ruth from Iceland. Thank you very much, and see you next time for after one Monday. And let me stop our this.